Hello besties and welcome to another reaction. Uh, this next song is um, by Mary Chapin Carpenter. Uh, the song is called Grow Old Along With Me. Uh, apparently it was written by John Lennon and it was requested for by Paul Dover. Let's go get it. is yet to be when our time has come we will be as one God bless our love God bless our So they say this was the last song he ever wrote, John Lennon, um, and it was done around 1980. Uh, I never knew that. And he never got to record it as well. Now, what I noticed in this one is I, I think around that period, he started to get really, really sentimental. Uh, I'm sure the fact that he had a settled home life with um, Yoko uh, uh, and Sean was like there growing, you know, growing up. I think it contributed to that way of him writing because... The, the normal Jelena that I know, when he writes a love song, it's it's not usually like a straightforward love song. You know, uh, they're like innuendos there. They're like humor uh, and, you know, uh, ironies. He puts all those things together. He doesn't like, he doesn't tell the story straight. You have to like, you know, go into it and try to detect what it means there. But then towards the end of his life, he started writing songs that were like very, very like sentimental no hidden meanings. You can just tell exactly what he was talking about. And of all those songs, I think for me, this is the one that tells that the most, you know. Um, it's it's just like a pure, straightforward love song. You know, no messing about, no being clever. And um, I just find that so unusual, you know, because I'm used to him being very, very clever. Uh, it's a beautiful song. Uh, I like it. I can imagine a lot of people, you know, choosing this as their wedding song or playing this at their anniversary, or when they're like renewing their vows. It's a song like that. It's beautiful, and it's just a shame that um, he never got to um, record it. I wonder if he did say anywhere that he wrote this song for Yoko, or he just wrote it, because it looks like all his songs, you know, when it comes to love, where for Yoko, same as Paul McCartney, all his love songs were all directed at um, Linda. Uh, great stuff. Let's go get some more. see it through. 
It caught me unawares uh, the, the the video still had uh, about a minute and a half to go, so I thought there was more to it, but um, uh, there wasn't. Uh, beautiful song, and it's a bit sad actually, because when I listen to that, right, it tells me that he didn't have that like um rock and roll mentality of like live fast, die young. You know, uh, he was really looking forward to like growing old, you know, uh, with his um with his loved ones and and you know just living a normal life having a long, healthy life and celebrating all the like um, great things, you know, about life. And uh, all that was just like snatched away by some crazy lunatic, you know, um, very, very sad about that. But beautiful song. Funnily, I, I cannot imagine him singing this song. I tried to hear it in John's voice. I couldn't, you know, uh, I don't know who this lady is, um, but I, I think she just sounded like this song was written for her, <laughs> you know, because... I was trying to like imagine John Lennon singing this song and I couldn't hear it in his voice. So, um, this woman, right? Um, yeah, I think this is her song. Um, and she did it very, very well and it was beautiful. I enjoyed it. And I hope you guys did too. And if you did so, don't forget to give the video a like for me. Many thanks to you for that. If you found me for the first time today, welcome on board. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed yourself enough to come back again. My name is Harry. Stay cool, stay safe, stay beautiful in your heart and soul. And I'll see you all next up. Take care. Bye-bye.